until recently, a few weeks ago, they were still out on their golf cart riding around planes. And there's a really funny story someone told us this morning. Someone was asking for directions to find someone's house they were visiting. And President Carter just pulls up in his golf cart and says, follow me, I'll show you where they live. Obviously, Georgia um, are where his ties are, but he's known all over the world. And he's got connections here in Colorado as well. And connections with the story that we did 11 years ago on Nine News um, that linked Haiti with Denver. <laughs> I'm so happy we got to take that trip, Matt. And do you remember our first interaction with President Carter was we were sitting on the plane, we were like towards the back of the plane, and all of a sudden we see President Carter and Rosalind Carter walking down the aisle, and he was saying hello and shaking hands with every single person on the plane. And greeting people, and, and then we're jumping up, grabbing whatever cameras we had to try to video some of that, and not a care in the world about any of that. That was just 11 years ago, but it was before Instagram feeds and everything really being documented on cell phones. That was just a former president and current Habitat for Humanity volunteer saying, hey, thanks for being along. And I don't want anybody to plan on going back to your home until all 100 homes are completed. And he set the pace, uh, and, and I think maybe some remarkable people noticed as well that they were going to have a hard time keeping up with former President Carter. But Matt, do you remember that story with Garth Brooks? So, you know, it's Haiti. It's in the 90s. It's very humid. We were all working construction from sun up to sundown. And so Garth Brooks went to get some water and he was standing in a little area with shade. And he said, I was just like getting a breather, taking a little break. And President Carter comes around the corner, looks at him and says, we didn't come here to rest, Garth. We came here to work. On a much smaller scale, you and I saw that when we were with him. It was, uh, you, you sit him down, you get everything situated for an interview with the former president of the United States. And then when he wants to get up during that interview and start showing you what he's talking about, you got it, you're picking it up and you're following him along. That is so true. Yeah, we were sitting in that tent in Haiti and doing this one-on-one -on -one interview. And then he says, hey, I want to show you something. And you're right, he stood up and it didn't matter that there's cords and wires. And so he starts walking around and he starts showing us, you know, irrigation lines that they have planted and um, sewage systems because there's no running water. Doing such important work around the world, uh, that was in Haiti, um, which teed up another project that they yeah. did in Denver, Colorado. We are very excited to come to Denver because uh, the people in, in Colorado are so eager to help other people. On that and trip to Haiti is when they made the big announcement that the next big project was going to be a huge gift to the city of Denver, a big project that was coming to Metro Denver the following year that the president and former first lady came to spearhead. Those of us that got the opportunity and privilege to meet him will be thinking back on those memories here now and and just uh, enjoying some of those great moments. And I love that there is like a legacy neighborhood in Denver of that time um, that will always be there and that will be a gift to other generations. And we all have an opportunity to carry on that work and to see the world in that way and to know we can make a difference.